Emily was bedbound with epilepsy and lost her memory, and doctors could only give her medicine. While Tsi and I were praying for Emily, the whole room became bright, radiant, and holy. We saw two angels in holiness clothes, whiter than snow. Since they were so tall, we could only see from their shoulder down. They each were holding a golden sword downward. Gold which is not of this world. Gold that was so pure and holy. The angels just stood right in the middle of the room, and the two dark shadows about three feet tall came out of her body and went into the drywall, then disappeared along with the two angels, and immediately she was healed. She got up immediately from her bed and got all her memories back. She ran into the living room and started talking to her four sisters and one younger brother with excitement and joy. There are many religions. Some worship statues while others worship their ancestors or the earth. So is the God of the Bible truly the Almighty God? Salad Vang, a former atheist doctor, shares the exhilarating true story of how he discovered the answer to this question. Through encounters with witches, demons, angels, and the God of the Bible, Vang received a heavenly calling. He was on top of the world, making more money than he could spend, and like many today, wanted nothing to do with the church or God. Still, God used his wife to interrupt the status quo and start a journey from which he would never return. They went from the brink of divorce to serving God as a team. He sold his supercar and precious things and gave all his money to the poor with only $200 left in his bank account and then followed Jesus. Together they share their heartwarming story and all its twists and turns, including going to jail, being stuck on the side of a mountain in Africa by voodoo masters, being chased by police in communist countries, being pursued by hostile antichrist crowds in India, being surrounded by soldiers with machine guns in ISIS territory in the Philippines, and the miraculous healing and deliverance ministry that Salad Vang now has. Discover how God ushered them into the spiritual realm, taking them through dream and vision training, and how, since then, they have traveled the nations, preaching to millions all over the world. Hindus, Muslims, Buddhists, shamanists, idol worshippers, after seeing the power of God healing and delivering them, gave their lives to Jesus. Witnessing the dead back to life, the crippled walking, the blind see, the deaf hear, and the mute speak, seeing demons cast out and people healed from all manner of sickness and disease. Whether in Africa or Minnesota, they share miracle after miracle, and how God has shown them angelic protection and taught them to deal with darkness by the sword of the Lord. Through this book, the Vangs challenge all who desire to be spiritual to discover the tremendous power of God and His ability to conquer the forces of evil. They show us that with God, all things are possible even in the spiritual realm, and we must put our total trust in Him. Now to the increasingly desperate situation in Haiti, where hundreds of Americans are among those struggling to get out as the violence and chaos grows. Gabe Gutierrez is following it all from the neighboring Dominican Republic. Tonight, a catastrophe is unfolding in Haiti. Each day, people running for their lives. The gang violence in Port-au-Prince now trapping Americans caught in the crossfire. Hundreds of stranded U.S. citizens registering with the State Department. We just want to go home. Missionary Jill Dolan and her family are stuck at a makeshift motel near the country's shuttered main airport. She's desperate to get back to Florida in time for her daughter's wedding. Instead, she's ducking for cover. We did hear gunfire like right outside at this gate, and it was very scary. And we all went running, and we turned off the lights and just like hid in our room. And Tonight, this is the edge of chaos, a humanitarian crisis. Davy Lloyd's mother is in agony. He died doing what he loved because he just wanted to help the Haitian people. Elisa Lloyd and her husband founded Missions in Haiti more than 20 years ago. The independent nonprofit runs schools and churches. Last night, she picked up her phone to learn an armed gang was terrorizing her son, his wife Natalie, and a Haitian colleague. He had already sustained a a beating at the hands of a gang and they had come into the compound, they had taken everything. Then at that time, a second gang entered. None of them would survive. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. 
In Colossians chapter 2, verse 12, the Bible says, buried with him in baptism. La Bible dit, mourir avec lui dans baptême. There in, entre, also, on l'autre bagarre encore, he had risen with him. Et l'on fait ça ou levé avec lui. The operation of God. À travers et la, et la résurrection à travers et l'élévation avec mon Dieu. Who have raised him from the dead? Mon Dieu qui t'a levé lui dans la mort. The word operation in the Bible means Jesus is the doctor. Opération dans la Bible veut dire Jésus Christ est docteur. Operation means the doctor take your old man out. Et opération veut dire docteur a retiré ancien monde. Amen. Et docteur, docteur Jésus in the water. Jésus Christ comme docteur lui dans l'eau. Amen. The proof of righteousness to you. Et la porte et salut et grâce salut baou. Amen. 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 Et puis l'enlever, on va lever tout neuf. Righteousness. Amen. 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 Am